and I too would like to be associated with the uh, sympathies to Senator John Kelly, our good friend, and, uh, and the loss of his father. Um, I'd also like to commend the Primetime Programme for uh, its analysis of the ambulance services um, last week. I think it certainly raised some concerns, um, and I would like at some stage to have a debate in this House on the ambulance services. Over the weekend, it was brought to my attention uh, in Clare that there was uh, some deficiencies and ongoing deficiencies uh, uh, in terms of the commitment that has been made to the people of Clare uh, regarding the ambulance services. I understand uh, that in Ennis, the ambulance station in Ennis, that there are two ambulances and a rapid response car uh, supposed to be available at any one time. Uh, each ambulance is uh, supposed to have two paramedics and the car is supposed to have one advanced paramedic. Uh, I understand uh, from what I've been told that uh, on numerous occasions, including St. Patrick's weekend, at times during St. Patrick's weekend, uh, that the advanced paramedic was uh, told uh, to man the ambulance as such, which meant that uh, when a patient is being brought into Limerick Hospital, the Midwestern Hospital in Limerick, uh, the advanced paramedic had to travel with the patient because that's part of the requirement. So what it meant was that the uh, rapid response car was not available uh, to deal with emergencies if they presented themselves. Uh, the Handley report, which uh, was debated... So you have a question for the leader. Yes, the Handley report, which was debated ad nauseum, uh, committed to uh, a 24-hour, seven-day-a-week uh, ambulance cover at full uh, throttle, if you like, in, in, in Ennis and around County Clare. I think that it's a serious issue and I would like a debate specifically on the ambulance services in light of what was raised on the primetime programme uh, last week, uh, together with the information which has been made available to me over the weekend. Senator